Have you ever wanted to eat a candy wrapper? Well, now you can. You've come to the wrong place. I got you. Kid, they're actually chips. Clear chips. Whoa. He uses the starch from the chips to make them clear. I wonder if you could eat these in class and nobody would see you because they're invisible. Sure, they might hear you, but you're like, wait, where are the chips? Hmm? Just like gaslight the teacher. I'm joking, don't do that. Teachers work so hard, you don't deserve that. Calories don't count if you can't see the food you're eating. Don't quote me on that. It's just what I want to believe. <laughs> Whoa, that's pretty cool. I wonder if it tastes the same though. It's tiny salad in a bag, what? Maybe I need more vegetables if they were shaped like Doritos. Oh. Are these boba or like tapioca? Either way, delicious. I don't really know what the difference is to be honest. But I do know he looks super happy doing it. It's so cute. And now we're putting it into the little packaging with the dressing, sealing it shut. That's fire, salad dumplings for life. Weird foods, dancing squid bowl fish. I'm out. I hate this. So it's actually not alive, but its muscles are still storing ATP, which is the energy source that all living things use to move their muscles. But ATP needs salt to contract muscles. So the soy sauce has salt in it and that's what's causing it to dance. I still don't like it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't personally. No, no judgment, but this is 3D printed meat and it's plant-based. So if you're vegan, you can have it. Apparently it looks, feels, and kind of still tastes like real meat. That's pretty cool. I like this. I think that the lab grown meat is like the future. Like when it gets good enough, like wouldn't that be awesome? That way like people can have meat, but the animals can be happy, you know? Like the thought of it is also a little creepy. Like would you guys try lab grown meat? I wouldn't be the first person to try it, but I'd be down to down the line. Unusual things you can get at vending machines in Japan. I found some weird things there. Like you can find underwear, so I hope it's not that. Are you having a bad time this year with the very cold winter? Oh, always. You just want a warm meal? Well, this vending machine actually has it. You know what? They do. I've tried these warm meals in the vending machines. I personally wasn't that big of a fan, but I think it's so cool that they're able to keep it warm in the vending machine. Do you think that uses a lot of power? Okay, so this person's attempting to make cereal flavored milk. You know that thing that we've all been attempting to do since we're five? Like I feel like I do this every time I eat cereal. So they blended the cereal, now they're putting it in a tea bag. <laughs> Bro, is he gonna then put cereal in it? Cause you could have just made a bowl of cereal. The milk will eventually start to taste like cereal. This would be great for all the times that like, I wanna hide that I'm eating cereal. And I could just be like, no, I'm just sipping on some tea. Tea icing. You're not gonna believe me. Try me. Miso ramen with ice cream. <laughs> Huh? Sweet and spicy miso ramen. Let's go. That kind of sounds gross, but I'm so curious. I'm actually really excited. Yeah, I'd be excited too, but also kind of gross though. Like it's spicy soup with cold, sweet ice cream. Oh, I love that type of ice cream soft serve. It's my favorite. There it is. What a beaut. Okay, the girl, let us know. Okay. You can definitely taste the ice cream. It adds a little bit of sweetness. Get those noodles all up Does in it there. cool it down? This is extremely filling. I'm only halfway through. But I mean, like, makes no sense. Ramen left behind, you know what I mean? Ramen's already pretty filling, but then you add in a whole ice cream scoop. Do you eat this for like dinner or dessert? So many dinner. questions. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying, I don't know if I'm recommending that people put ice cream in their ramen at home. So you're saying it's bad. <laughs> Fried spaghetti. Wait, what? If this is what Eminem's mom's spaghetti looked like, I understand why he was mad all the time. I like that it's crunchy, but I hate that it's raw pasta on the inside. Baby dessert. What does that even mean? They said it's the last one. They promised, oh no, it looks like a baby. Okay, gender reveal pitch. You fill this with blue or pink. I know it's weird, but all gender reveal parties are weird and kind of problematic. And so this fits right in. <laughs> this is hot chocolate. Wait, what? Really, it is. It bursts open with liquid. It's portable, bites portable, it's absolutely delicious. Hot and chocolate. Really easy to make at home. What in the Willy Wonka is this? Grab our syringe, our precision okay, you're gonna show us how to make it. it Perfect. It and begin. Hot chocolate is one of my favorite drinks. I don't drink coffees and teas, so hot chocolate is my go-to for a warm drink. But sometimes you don't want a full cup of hot chocolate. Sometimes you just want a quick hit of it. And I mean, I, I always want a full <laughs> cup. Like he's like. Sometimes you want a quick hit of it. Like it's something you're not allowed to do. Even okay. This is already weird, seeming a magnificent hot like a lot of work for the tiniest bit of chocolate. Back to math class to make these spheres. So we take that liquid measure. 2% of the weight of the liquid in calcium lactate and mix it oh, together. Oh yes, calcium then lactate. I have so much of that lying around. The weight of our water in sodium alginate and mix that together. We freeze our hot chocolate mixture in sphere molds, drop it in our hot sodium alginate bath. Oh, that looks as good. it melts, the outside will gel while... Hold up. 
Question, is it still hot chocolate if you freeze it first? I was a biochem major and they never explained this. Kind of the main reason why I didn't become a doctor. Not enough chocolate related science courses. Whoa. I feel like this is what Jojo Siwa would look like if she was candy. It's like a section quesadilla, but with candy? Who, who is this for? And are they still alive? That seems like a lot of sugar. I mean, can we make it into little bite-sized pieces? That would make me really happy. <laughs> Uh, why is this disturbing to me? I love candy. It's a donut burger. Oh, I find it cute that the burgers are cosplaying as donuts. But do they still taste like regular donuts? They just look like, I think they're still like savory. This is so trippy. I like how they added all the, like icing is actually ketchup and mayo. I forgot the third one, mustard. Mustard and relish. Your hands will get so sticky though. Like you guys ever look at things and you're like, ah, there's no way I could touch that. That's what she I guess that's what forks and knives are for, isn't it? <laughs> it's gelato sushi. Okay. Is this fish flavored ice cream or ice cream flavored fish? Oh, you know what? I think they're just fully ice cream and candy, but they look like they're sushi, but there's no fish involved. That is a cute conveyor belt. What if you miss? What if you... <laughs> Imagine having the restraint to only get one each. I could never. <laughs> I would want one of each flavor, not one per person. Guys, forbidden noodles. This is a snake salad. It's funny that there's still gonna be some people who think the tomatoes are the most disgusting part of this. Like, I could never. Today, we're gonna be making bacon wrapped Oreos in the smoker with a touch of sea salt. Whoa. You pass judgment on these, just try them. I hate to say, but this seems Oreos absolutely delicious. This is kind of like that one couple that, that like seems like they wouldn't work, but then when they're together, it's so cute. I feel like this would be like salty and sweet. Like, have you guys ever had deep fried Mars bars? This is the type of vibe it's giving me. Seems like a weird combo, but just trust me, it works. I trust you, I'm never gonna do it though. <laughs> Are you guys like that too? Like you love watching people do things that you're never gonna do yourself. What's the weirdest food combination that you secretly love? I'll go first. Okay. I dip my burgers in coffee. I mean, I would if they were donut burgers, because I'm positive that version is disgusting. Was she just eating a full broccoli? <laughs> Remember when we were all little and we pretended we were giant T-Rexes eating little broccolis that were big? Well, she never stopped. She's fierce and she has an even more fierce calcium intake. You go, girlfriend. Chocolate spaghetti? This sounds like something you would crave if you were pregnant. <laughs> the heart in the uterus wants what it wants. BRB, you wanna see if my boyfriend would lady in the tramp list with me? Does that say bug on there? Oh, hell no. Nah. Yes, waiter, there's bug in my salad. Just like the one I ordered. <laughs> Why? That doesn't make it look better. Okay, she's gonna try it. What do you think? Scorpion, yay or nay? That wasn't the face of someone who was excited. What is this? The amount of burrito I'm allowed to have on a diet? This is why I don't do diets. A girl needs to eat. It's torture. This is like the toppings that give you chipotle. It's so little and cute though. Oh, it was for a little hamster. Oh, okay, that's cute. I take everything I said back. You go, Glen Coco. You eat that burrito. Where are the pasta cubes? Huh? What's going on? Is this like pasta you can take with you to school and snack on like it's chips? Because this is the type of stuff I'm talking about. This seems delicious. I just don't like that it's in a gum container. That's that's weird. That gets me concerned. I love it because I'd be like, do you need a snack? I, I got some pasta in my purse and like not be judged for once. Because it's in a container. Cotton candy sushi. Why ruin sushi and give cotton candy a glow up it doesn't deserve? And if they were going to make sushi out of cotton candy, it would be clownfish. Can you guys tell I don't like cotton candy? If you are an OG on this channel, you know it is my mortal enemy. <laughs> 10 out of 10 lies and deception. Lies. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you all so much. Stay awesome, stay sweet, and don't forget to be nice other. I'll see you in the next video.